Hello, everyone. Kingdom Kid here with a reaction to the Pokemon Presents stream, which is going to be beginning shortly. Um, obviously, they're going to talk about, you know, the card game, uh, Pokemon Sleep, Pokemon Go, all the mobile app games. But I'll be here to talk about the other stuff. So, so if you saw, like, the teaser for it, they had, like, a weird flash of an M. I'm pretty sure that's probably just going to be a Mewtwo Terror Raid battles for Scarlet and Violet. Which, nothing wrong with that, but, um... But it's like, yeah, they really, um, I mean, it's still interesting, so that's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, but who knows, are they going to, are they going to announce like another Pokemon game? They're going to focus on the Scarlet, will we get a uh, actual release date of the Scar, 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 the first Scarlet and Violet, um, uh, Scarlet and Violet uh, DLC. Pro I would assume we'd get the release date of the first one at least. Since, you know, we're in August. Which, by the way, I still need to like, pre-order that for both of them. <sighs> but no matter. Um, yeah. Something else. I got on my end here. Something else that I know a lot of people are hoping for is they would announce Gen 1, Gen 2... And possibly even Gen 3 uh, Pokemon games for Nintendo Switch Online for the Game Boy slash Game Boy Color slash Game Boy Advance uh, online stuff. Which, if they do that, awesome. I would be super excited for that. Um, but I don't know. Do I expect them to do that? Because I, I feel like Game Freak slash Pokemon slash Nintendo feel like this is there's money to be made with this. So we need to find a way for them to pay for it in a different way, but I don't know, I think people will be upset that way, but you never know. But anyway, here we go. Hello, everyone. Oh, well, there's Mew and Mew, too. Oh, yeah, and of Pokemon course, they're going to talk about Pokemon Detective Pikachu. In today's presentation, we'll be sharing information about several Pokemon projects including the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. First of all, the weekend of the 2023 Pokemon World Championships is nearly upon us at last. And we hope you'll enjoy this at video. The World Championships, here we go. We actually have one more video related to the 2023 Pokemon World Championships to share with you. Hi, I'm Andy Ghost from the Pokemon Company International. We're thrilled to bring the Pokemon world together for the premiere of our newest short animated series, Pokemon Path to the Peak, at the Pacifico Yokohama on August 11th, alongside. Oh yeah, Pokemon I forgot world that Trading. they had like a new. They made like a Pokemon new show Path too, to so is a probably get a little bit about the that. Pokemon trading card game to life as you've never seen before. Set in the compelling world of competitive Pokemon trading card game play, it's the story of our hero Ava who discovers her natural talent alongside her partner Pokemon Oddish. With the oh, support of family, different. community, and newfound friends, she sets her goal to rise to the very top. Here's a sneak peek. I know it's tough moving to a new place, but think of it as a new start. You try new things, make new friends. That sounds like Travis William. You'll find your place. Challenge accepted! Welcome to the Pokemon Club! You all play together? That's awesome! I know, right? So the new girl can play. But how would you do in a real competition with championship points on the line? So they, so they're making a. I mean, it's an animated shorts, which is fine, or anime limited Look series about Pokemon the, Path to the Pokemon trading Episode game, which is cute. It looks cute. Globally on YouTube August 11th. We can't wait for you and all your friends and family to join us on the journey. The first ever Pokemon World Championships to be hosted in Japan is nearly upon us. We hope everyone is looking forward to it as much as we are. Next up, we have the latest on the return of that tough-talking Pikachu. Alright, here's Detective Pikachu. The name's Pikachu. And I'm what you might call a great detective. I live and work here in Rhyme City, where humans and Pokemon live side by side. Everyone loves it here, and 
and not just because the coffee's outstanding. Dun, 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 dun. When I'm not busy solving cases that crop up, I'm looking for leads on my missing partner, Harry. And it's no walk in the park, let me tell you. Mm hmm? You want to know more about me? All right, all right. I guess I can open up a little. First, here's Tim. He's my partner at the moment. For some reason, Tim can understand what I'm saying, even though he's human. And this guy right here is Harry. He's Tim's dad, if you can believe it. Then we got Tim's mom, Irene, and his little sister, Sophia. There's also Rachel, who goes to college with Tim. Well, speaking of Rachel, her dad, Howard, he's actually the mayor of Rhyme City. I wonder if, uh... And I barely scratched the surface of all the if, uh, characters Richard, around I mean, the way that they were looking, like, with Tim's dad there, I feel like it's gonna be somewhat the same way the of how, uh, the Pikachu movie, Whenever Detective Pikachu movie occurs, is, where it's like, his dad's people. spirit I'm is, like, within Pokemon, Pikachu, but only he can understand him or something. Our case notebook to deduce what happened. Investigating a scene. We're total pros at finding everything, but even pros gotta take it easy every so often. You can count on us to solve even the toughest cases in a flash. Oh, right. Sometimes other Pokemon help us with our investigations. Take Rowlet, for instance. She can track down suspects with her sensitive nose. And Darmanitan here packs a pulverizing punch. All kinds of Pokemon lend us a hand. Yo, oh, how could I forget the Hi Hat Cafe? It's a famous coffee house in Rhyme City, and I'm their best customer. Oh, <laughs> that first cup in the morning really hits the spot. Hmm? Looks like trouble's brewing. We just can't catch a break. Seems like another big mystery is unfolding in the city. We just want to find Harry already. If you want to know what happens, you gotta wait till October 6th, okay? Why that day? Isn't it obvious? That's the release date for Detective Pikachu Returns. Let's solve some mysteries together. Yeah. Gruff, tough talking, powered by coffee. The self-described great Detective Pikachu works together with his partner, Tim, to solve cases around town. Detective Pikachu Returns for Nintendo Switch Systems is now available for pre-order on Ooh. Nintendo eShop and at Park. I'll probably pick it up. Will it be a series? Stores. I have no idea. We hope you check it out and uncover for yourself the truth behind the strange cases these two must tackle. Next, we have a number of announcements and updates to share with you. It's the TV show, I think. Yep. This year, Pokemon Go is once again holding multiple Pokemon Go Fest events. The locations Ooh, Pokemon Go. include London, Osaka, and coming next weekend, New York City. On August 26th and 27th, we will also be holding Pokemon Go Fest 2023 Global, a digital event that can be enjoyed from anywhere. In this year's Pokemon Go Fest, Diancie will appear for the first time ever. Diancie can mega evolve into Mega Diancie too. And Mega Rayquaza will also be appearing in raids, 
This celebration of Pokemon Go comes only once a year, so we hope you can all join in. Oh, and one more thing. Something with sleep? Shoes? Beginning in September, Pokemon first discovered in the Paldea region will be appearing in Pokemon Go. Suit up for oh, okay. adventure and head out in search of Pokemon from every region, from Kanto to Paldea. Nah, I love Pokemon that they Go showed the Master Ball being used to the Galarian birds, because that's the only way you ever fucking Pokemon catch those, unless Pokemon you're lucky. Go debut. As we continue through Pokemon Go's seventh year, your adventures will only continue to expand with the entire world as your stage. Pokemon Unite recently celebrated its second anniversary. Allow us to introduce some current events. First is a new type of battle, Panic Parade. With the help of your teammates, protect Tinkaton from an onslaught of wild Pokemon. Plus, the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo joins the fray. During battle, Mewtwo can Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo X. Mega Mewtwo X can use its moves in quick succession, allowing players to attack relentlessly. Why players is it always Mega Mew Knight Why is it always the X version, never the Y version? Happening now. And starting August 17th, you'll also be able to get Unite License Y Mewtwo, which allows Mewtwo to Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo Y. Oh, there it is. Mega Mewtwo Y, you'll be able to battle differently than Mega Mewtwo X. Pokemon Unite will continue to evolve even after its second anniversary. Please look forward to more Pokemon joining the fray. The 2023 World Championship Series prediction event is also underway. All players can participate, so join in the fun and excitement of this year's World Championships. And after this broadcast ends, we'll be gifting powerful Platinum Boost emblems, as well as limited licenses for both Mew and Mewtwo to everyone who enters our special gift code in Pokemon Unite. Plus, we're also holding a second anniversary prize machine event. This is a great chance to get popular holloware for Pokemon like Pikachu and Cinderace. Please join us in celebrating Pokemon Unite's second anniversary. I will say this, Pokemon oh, Unite man. knows how to It's so much better. So much more fun than I ever even knew. Why act like there's fucking voice acting in this game where there isn't? Aldea region. It's Nimona and Palmont. Nimona will make her debut in a new Although I guess that was more so for Master X, which is weird that this has some voice acting in it. Nimona and Palmont are a special sync pair with the new sprint role. Sync pairs with the sprint role excel at attacking quickly. By introducing new roles like this. You know, that is so weird. Why the hell do they have voice acting in a mobile game, but they don't even have voice acting in the freaking mainline games? Like, that's so weird to me. But yeah, uh, Unite knows how to like, you know. Another special event will be held to celebrate Nimona's debut. Battle against Nimona as she gets stronger day by day to earn gems. Uh. Starting August 16th, Victor and Spectrier will appear. They're a sync pair with the new Victor, which excels at field effects. Anyone who completes this event can team up with them. But no, at least Unite knows how to like celebrate anniversaries, so. There are plenty more events in the works as we ramp up for the fourth anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, so stay tuned. Pokemon Cafe. Pokemon Cafe Remix. Hmm, what's this? The newest dish at the cafe is sushi? No, wait, it's the Mimicry Pokemon Tatsugiri, now visiting the cafe in Pokemon Cafe Remix. 
serve up some delight to curly form tatsugiri, droopy form tatsugiri, and stretchy form tatsugiri <laughs> with some of your best dishes. Progress through the event and you'll be able Cafe to game looks fun. I just wish I kind of started just early. Have to decide which tatsugiri you like most. Plus, to celebrate this Pokemon present, we're also giving away a special summer fun Jigglypuff. And beginning today, Five Star Chef Tropical Vaporeon is now available in delivery. Plus, Sprigatito, Quacoco, and Quaxly are also being featured again in delivery. Celebrate all this good news with a bonus 11 times express delivery, available now without using in game currency. Play Pokemon Cafe Remix on Nintendo Switch or your mobile device and discover what new Pokemon and outfits may show up in your cafe next. Not bad. Oh! Oh, the train card game, okay. Experience the world of the Pokemon TCG in video games. If this is seriously the only one they're bringing over, that's kind of bullshit. When it comes to Game Boy and Nintendo Switch Online. As the main character, you'll search for the legendary cards and battle all sorts of trainers using your own cards. Win battles against strong opponents and try to build the ultimate deck. And we have even more good news. Pokemon all right, Stadium 2. Will also be appearing on Nintendo 64, Nintendo Switch Online. That's awesome. But give us what we really want. Go head to head with the gym leaders and Elite Four from Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver. Several mini games will also be available. You can play Eager Eevee, Pichu's Power Plant, Furret's Frolic, and more with up to three of your friends. The two titles you see here will be available shortly after this presentation. Oh, wow. Pokemon Sleep, a game that wow, no, uh, to look forward to, was released. No, uh, week. First gen or second gen or when third gen. Sleep, but hey, at least Stadium and the Train Car game are there. I mean, there's literally no other Pokemon games Pokemon left to be on the Switch style. now in that capacity besides, uh... So try to rest your very best and study the many sleep styles waiting to be discovered. We're also preparing a good sleep day in-game event for the night of the full moon in case some people struggle to get enough sleep that night. With the hope you can get enough sleep, even on such nights, we're powering up drowsy power on good sleep days so you can meet even more Pokemon. Try to get your very best rest together with Pokemon Sleep. And next, we turn to the latest updates about the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games, the newest games in All the right. Pokemon series released Mew in the Mewtwo Raids. Um, Please have a look at this video. DLC. A treasure my very own. What's that? Something I won't let go of. Original anime web series. Okay. I was about to we say that looks like an online original animated some kind of anime Pokemon. thing, so there we go. The name of the series is Pokemon Paldean Winds. This original story will depict the youthful drama of several academy students as they come into their own, growing and learning as they attend school. No, I feel like either the Void Quoco or the Quackley should be in their second stage since someone has Masquerade. We have another Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet video to share with you all. 
You three raids. Yep. Of course, it's not actually gameplay full of. Are you kidding me? Oh, and Mew. Could you imagine if it's one of the things where only Scarlet gets Mew raids and, and Violet gets Mew T raids or vice versa? Unless Mew is supposed to be part of the team that's currently in this raid against Mew, too. They gave me the business. Add Mew to your team and challenge Mew to with the We'll be holding an event called Get Mew and Mewtwo. Add Mew to your team and challenge a Mewtwo with the mightiest mark. The mythical Pokemon Mew and the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo. These two longtime rivals are bringing their fierce battles to Paldea. Starting right now, you can add Mew to your team by entering this password in the mystery gift menu in your game. Each Mew's Terra type, nature, and moves will differ. Huh. Get your Mew, okay. Enjoy adventuring in the Paldea region with a Mew that's all your own. Meanwhile, the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo will be appearing in a special Terra Raid battle event. That's not until September, okay. Emerge victorious in this battle, and you'll be able to catch a Mewtwo with the mightiest mark. If you challenge Mewtwo with Mew at your side, be ready for something special. We'll also hold a number of other Terra Raid battle events that'll help you challenge Mewtwo. Train with your Mew and work together with your allies to take on Mewtwo. This event is slated to begin on September 1st. We hope you'll take part in these events. All right, that's pretty interesting. It's a nice way to get Mew now too. Finally, we'd like to share some updates about the DLC coming for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, titled The Hidden Treasure of Area I'm going to assume you're going to give us the release date of Part 1, at least. Which I still need to pre-order that for. Part 1, the teal mask. Oh! What was that? I mean, I know Appleton's already in the game, but like, why did he look different? I guess there's a form variation for Appleton, which is weird because Appleton's in the base game of of Scarlet and Violet, so why does he have a new form? Oh, does he have a unique Terra form? Part two. The Indigo Disc.
Ah, press. Oh, actually, I was fly, but probably only for that mini game. No other reason. Another time, I mean. Oh shit, is that a. the skyscraper dragon Pokemon? I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Whoa, Entei! Oh my, or Raikou! Okay, yep. Seen some uh, new primal po uh, new uh, Pokemon of Legendary, and I saw it called Boltion as well. So, a new called Boltion and uh, the uh, Raikou. They have to give us the release date at least part one, right? An old folktale passed down in the land of Kitakami. Pokemon trainers waiting to battle you at Blueberry Academy. An Area Zero's hidden treasure. Let's take a closer look at what we just saw. Not release date yet, but let's the see. DLC for Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Your adventures will extend beyond the Paldea region as you explore new places. Part 1, The Teal Mask. Supervised by Briar, one of the teachers at Blueberry Academy, you'll take part in this year's joint school trip. At the center of the land of Kitakami, a proud mountain stands tall. People live Excuse at the me. base of the mountain and grow apples in sprawling orchards. Rice paddies stretch across the land, and time passes slowly amid an abundance of nature. In the land of Kitakami, you'll meet a wide variety of Pokemon species that can't be found in Paldea. You'll also meet two siblings who study at Blueberry Academy. the strong-willed Carmine and her younger brother, the meek and gentle Kirin. In battle, Kirin uses a new evolution of Applin. Meet Diplin, a Pokemon that looks a lot like a candy apple. Oh, Diplin. Okay, Those it's a Apple's different Pokemon. Pokemon. Okay. Takami to learn all about a folktale passed down in this land. This folktale tells of Pokemon who once saved Kitakami from an evil ogre. Okidogi, Monkey Dory, and Pheasantipity. These Pokemon are known as the Loyal Three, and they're hailed as heroes. In the land of Kitakami, inspired by the tale of the Loyal Three and the ogre, the Festival of Masks is held each year, and the village bustles with people and Saul. What mystery could lie behind this old folktale? We hope you'll all dive in and find out for yourselves. A traveling photographer is also visiting the village. Meet Perrin. It seems she's here in search of a certain Pokemon. Cute. Take pictures of Pokemon alongside Perrin and help her with her mission. Oh, wow, well, they put Pokemon Snap in the game. In the Ogre Austin minigame, you can pop Ogre Balloons and try for a high score. As a reward, you'll get Mochi, which can help your Pokemon grow strong. You can use Mochi to increase base points for your Pokemon's stats. A fresh start Mochi can even reset a Pokemon's base points, so you can train your favorite Pokemon just the way you like. And that's not all. You'll be getting the new Roto Stick too. Take photos with wider angles using the roto stick. Try out You mean finally we get to take decent pictures? Enjoy your school trip amid the beautiful land of Kitakami. Part 2, the Indigo Disc. 
Director Cyrano of Blueberry Academy, your academy's sister school, will invite you to visit as an exchange student. This is Blueberry Academy, where your story will unfold. Amazingly enough, this newly built school lies mostly underwater. Blueberry. In the terrarium located within the school, you'll find the subtropical savanna biome, the lush coastal biome, the rough and rugged canyon biome, and the freezing polar biome. A total of four artificially created areas. Each of these areas is home to many different Pokemon. You'll get to know the students of this academy, take on new classes, and experience a student life that's a bit different from what you're used to. The Academy students often engage the in Blueberry battle, League. and they formed a group called the BB League. At the top of this league stand the Elite Four. There's the level-headed student Lacey, the fiery, battle-loving cook Crispin, the taciturn and cool-headed Amaris, and Drayton, whose laid-back attitude belies his impressive battle skills. His partner, Archaladon, is a new Pokemon that evolves from Duraludon. Oh, it's an evolution from Duraludon. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. first need to take on their elite trials. Apparently, one of these trials even lets your Coridon or Maridon fly around temporarily. Perhaps this latent power will be fully unlocked someday. One of the extracurricular activities at Blueberry Academy is the League Club. It even has its own club room, which you can redecorate as you please. In this room, you can find new ways to have fun, such as by changing up your Pokeball throwing style. At one point during your studies here, you'll be able to invite trainers from Paldea to be your special instructors. You can spend time with these trainers to get to know them better and battle them too. Finally, your adventure will lead you back to Paldea. What could the hidden treasure of Area Zero possibly be? That was Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet's DLC, The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. We hope you look forward to adventuring beyond Paldea's borders. I know, are you going to give us a release date for at least part one? Yep, there it's Cobaltiana and the Raikou again. What did you think? Still no release date! We now have the release date for oh, there we go. The teal mask. September, okay. Please watch for future announcements for more news on part two, the Indigo. Okay, Ghost. I definitely need to get these before then, I suppose. We hope you look forward to adventuring in the land of Kitakami and the new encounters awaiting you there. That's all for today's presentation. Thank you for tuning in. All right, I mean, that wasn't bad. It was a very decent event. Um, I mean, obviously, I was more so about, you know, the the video game aspects. Not really care about anything else. Um, the trading card game or the the uh, mobile app games. Maybe besides a little bit Tonight's of... Tonight's uh, dinner? Of, uh... It's gonna be great. Hello, Pokemon Train. Of, um... Yeah, I'm gonna... Let's just go back to that event. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Like, yeah, I, I didn't mind everything about the Pokemon, uh, you know, Detective Pikachu is pretty cool, um, here's the funny thing to me, you know, the Show whole, uh, on, next. the whole, uh, okay, first of all, I'm happy that they bring Stadium 2 and the TG, and the train card game Experience on the, the Switch, but the I think everyone TCG was like, why, where the fuck, like, game. where's, uh, Original Gen 1? At least Gen 1 and Gen 2 should have been on Switch here. Online. Gen 3 may have been a bit of a stretch, but I feel like at least Gen 1 and Gen As 2 should have been on in there. But I feel like, again, cards, I feel like Pokemon's just like, no, we gotta find a way to sell this individually in a way where we get money from people getting this instead of, you know, just a regular, 
money from people only being subscribers to online and all that stuff. So, God, could you imagine it's like, oh, we're upping the subscription prices just because we added Pokemon and you're like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, there's gonna be a way. Like, that's gonna be the only way they're gonna do it is by bringing that in. So, and, and the fucking event. The fucking... Pichu's power plant. The fucking uh, Mew, and more. Mew and Mewtwo and events friends. name is fucking hilarious. It's literally called Get Mew and Mewtwo. Add Mew to your team and challenge a Mewtwo with, a, with the mightiest mark. Like, that is the most fucking ridiculous goddamn Pokemon name sleep. ever. A game that makes waking up uh, and I'm happy that we finally got the release date for... Uh, Part one of the, uh, your results of the, uh, will determine sure which styles the, you'll find. Uh, we finally got part, uh, release date for part one in September, so that's next month. So that's pretty cool. So we might actually be going back into Pokemon Vi uh, Scarlet in, uh, in a few weeks here, which is pretty interesting. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this uh, reaction to this uh, stream slash event. Um, maybe ne in the next Pokemon event or maybe next Pokemon or Pokemon Presents or maybe even the next Nintendo Direct, they'll uh, announce uh, the Pokemon uh, 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 Gen 1 and Gen 2 and possibly Gen 3. I feel like they're not going to announce all of them. I feel like they're going to start slow. Like they might only have Gen 1 in, you know, red, blue, yellow possibly green i don't know how that worked before pokemon games are basically all the same um oh yeah and then of course like i still find it so fucking hilarious how they have voice acting in the pokemon masters game but they can't even get voice acting in the fucking console games but it's whatever but yeah guys uh let me know how you felt about this event i'm probably going to cut a lot of this stuff out that i was like oh i don't really care about which is majority of the championship stuff because it's whatever but yeah, all right, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching, and yeah, let me know what you felt about the event. And yeah, we'll be going back into Pokemon uh, Scarlet here in September at some point. All right, guys. Thank you all for watch watching, and I'll see you guys in the next event. Bye.